An artist named Richard Price is selling Instagram photos that are not his for $90,000. Now this is one of the topics that I like to talk about here on The Fowler Show. You've heard me talk about it before. The modern art world is a brave, beautiful, and fascinating place for me. The amounts of money that people are willing to spend on things that inherently do not have much value at all is always very interesting. And Richard Prince is no exception. Okay, so Richard Prince, he's an established artist. One of the, uh, the two ideas that he likes to play with are authorship and appropriation. And he made waves at the Freeze Art Fair a couple weeks ago with what he called his Instagram, Instagram paintings. Okay, what this looked like. He took screenshots of gorgeous Instagram pictures uploaded by models, celebrities, and artists, added creepy contents, comments underneath like, enjoyed the ride today, let's do it again, Richard. Then he printed the images on a canvas. Last fall, they were exhibited at another gallery where they sold for upwards of $90,000 each. Now, one of the things that makes uh, a piece of artwork valuable is of course, the artist that has his name attached to it and this artist is very successful in its own right. So owning a piece by Richard Prince is obviously something that is valuable in and of itself. Um, and interestingly, sometimes even a famous artist's crappiest work can be valuable because people say it's, it's so bad that it's good, right? There's never gonna be another piece by this artist that's this bad. So it could become iconic in its own way, which could make it even more valuable. Okay, so you took a bunch of pictures of Pamela Anderson, porn stars, pulled a bunch of Instagram pictures and sold them. And he seems to be doing pretty well. Now, here's where the social commentary comes into play, in my opinion, and why I'm interested by it. Listen, I don't, I'm not paying $90,000 for a piece of art like this. Don't get me wrong, but we do start to have some conversations. And listen, there have been a lot of advancements in technology and we have not caught up in terms of what's an appropriate level of authorship for this you know what you know let's have a conversation about with instagram for instance what are we putting out there in public and when does it become personal property and when does it become public property right before and you know the way that the current intellectual properties law work once you take a picture, once you write a note of music, once you record a song, even without the paperwork, it is your intellectual property, right? Now we ask ourselves, when I snap a selfie of myself on my phone and share it with the world, technically it is my intellectual property, right? And no one has the right to distribute it or profit from it without my consent. This becomes a gray area when you are you know, sharing it on a website like Instagram where the entire point is that it is dispersed to a very wide audience. So we're asking important questions here. We're using art to do it and the big dollar signs attached to it are what is making the headlines. So I definitely support that. You know, people are gonna spend money on all kinds of crazy stuff if they've got it. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.